This video shows how to copy or export data from your DataSelf Analytics desktop into other applications such as Excel, PowerPoint, email, and so forth. First of all, let's cover the most intuitive approach, which pretty much uses the mouse. You point to the data that you want to copy or export, right-click, so I'm going to point to the on a grid to the actual numbers, right click, and then I have the option to view data or copy data. If you right click in other areas that do not have uh, numbers, you get other pop-up windows. So be sure the mouse is pointing to your, your actual numbers and then you right click. So here I'm going to start with the copy option and choose cross tab. And then I'm going to go to Excel right click and paste so what we just did we took the whole report and we copied a cross tab into excel showing individual information as well as the subtotals just like it's showing here so that's one option just right click copy and choose cross tab and paste into the other application if you choose data in this case we'll only copy this particular uh, data set which is the 22 million so I'm going to choose copy data go to Excel going to right click and paste it and there you go I just got that particular data which my mouse was pointing to that number and that's the, the same num some information right here only for that data set if I right click and I choose copy image then I get a full image a, a full picture of the actual query I copy it and then I go to the other application right click and paste it and I have the image of the whole report this also works if you're taking pictures from charts maps and things of that nature now I'm still pointing to this particular number if I right click and I choose view data and I in, in this little wizard I choose underlying now what I'm getting is all transactions that have added up to that particular number. So in this case, I'm looking at sales information. All the sales line items that add up to this $22 million are here. There's about 3,000 records. And I have detailed information, in this case, invoice number, invoice date, customer information, product, ship to, you name it. I can now export this data. And when I export, it goes into a CSV file, and I can save in a different location in my hard drive. So I'm going to choose Save to save this uh, information. And now I'm going to go into Excel and open that particular file. There it is. I just saved it. I click Open. And this is a CSV file. So you choose, please, please choose the limited approach. Click Next, and only choose Comma click finish and now you have in Excel all those records uh, in all field information coming from your transactions uh, that now you can manipulate uh, in different ways so that's how you uh, you know right click on a particular number and choose view data uh, now you can do all these things using also the, the menu uh, here worksheet so the copy works pretty much the same way as we just did using the mouse over. But we also have the option here for export. And the main difference between the copy and then export is export will save into a file. You know, if it's an image, it could be a PNG file. Uh, if it's data, it will actually save into a Microsoft Access format. But I also found the export cross tab to Excel a very useful approach let me show you that when I do that actually I export the cross tab in a nicely formatted way so these are numbers but they are already nicely organized so if you're, if you're trying to export to Excel only for um, visualization purposes the export cro cross tab to Excel it was going to show you the data more nicely if you were going to export, I mean, copy the cross tab, then you have this information that is not so nicely organized. 
This is usually better if you want to manipulate the data further, but not to show it. To show it is nicer if you look at this way in Excel or let's say PowerPoint. Um, and this export to cross tab here, there are actually numbers. You still can make calculation out of them. So it's better than actually exporting the picture if you're planning on doing any kind of calculation. Uh, my final comment is, uh, if you go to actual images or charts, the way that you export is fairly similar. Similar uh, When you export, copy, view data, copy, you're going to be looking at numbers, per se, that are underlying behind this chart, unless you choose the image approach that you're actually going to be copying the image into your other application. So right here, I'm going to paste the image, and you get the image just like it was in the Data Self Analytics desktop. I hope you found this uh, video informative. Thank you.